agree that nothing tastes quite as good as a homegrown tomato, so this was a good time for us to come out to Pike Nurseries to learn the best way to do that. We're here this morning with Mara Ammons uh, for some great tips. Good morning. Good morning. You know, tomatoes are so versatile in your cooking that it's great to be able to grow your own, right? It is. It's very, very exciting, and that's one of my favorite memories is picking tomatoes from my grandfather. Right. So we're getting close to tax day. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that's tomato time, which is awesome because we can start getting outside and then first we're going to make sure that you pick that sunny spot okay because that's where they're going to be the happiest okay so go into your yard figure out where you've got the longest exposure at least six hours okay and you don't have to necessarily have a lot of space for this right you do not you can grow tomatoes in containers and that's a really fun way on a porch next to your grill to have everything right there create your own salsa garden or grilling station and this is a fun little way to stabilize your con your container gardens with your tomatoes. Okay. I flipped a tomato cage upside down and created this teepee effect and they reach out and hold on and you can pick your tomatoes right there. All right. Super easy. So that helps both in how they grow and the ability to pick them? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's a great way to do a vertical garden. Okay. Are there things that we need to consider when we're planting this? What we can plant it with or what we shouldn't plant it with? So there are some companion plants that you can choose that'll help prevent the naughty bugs from getting your tomatoes first. So I love marigolds, they do great with them. And also choosing the appropriate tomato for what you like to eat okay. is important. There are a lot of varieties. There are. <laughs> are you gonna be, be making marinara? Are you gonna be slicing them for a sandwich? Are you gonna pop them in a, a salad? Those are all things to consider when you're choosing which tomatoes you want. Okay, now that you've gotten them started, what's the best way to care for these and make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck? Well, making sure that you prevent their blossoms from rotting and falling off is really great. This is an amazing systemic that we like to use and recommend. Um, also, making sure that you feed them along the way every six weeks or so, making sure that you have a great fertilizer to throw on the soil and water in. That's very important as well. All right, you said tax time and tomato time at the same time. Yes. Tomato time sounds a lot more fun it than tax is day. It's more fun. <laughs> So what do you have going on this weekend? So this weekend, we've got all of our garden gurus ready for y'all to get started. Come by and we have free tomato class. And that's gonna be wonderful for all your friends and family to make sure that they get growing and get going on their gardens this season. All right, great.